on Sparks family welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time hi I'm Tino Sparks and if you're here for the second or third or more than three times hey what do you do we are right here at Freedom Park Museum you guys and we're just here trying to understand the history of South Africa in relation to the liberation struggles how South Africa managed to attain its freedom right here at Freedom Park you guys so I am not going alone you guys I am going with a friend and this friend is called Perfect Africa yes you guys his name is Perfect Africa on YouTube so please go subscribe to his channel and you guys already know what we do go to his channel go to the comment section and say Tino Spark sent you here you guys because in this family you guys we are here talking about Africa talking about the beauty of Africa sharing the beauty of Africa to the world baby so if you want to be part of the family then yes yeah, subscribe to the channel go to his channel he also shares about the beauty of Africa he's also part of the Africa to the world movement baby so yes you guys let's go in the museum and see what the museum has to offer So this light, or is it a spirit, a god, is called Nom Kubulwane. So Nom Kubulwane, according to this museum, is an African goddess of rain, nature, and fertility. According to Freedom Park Museum, the earth had nothing except Nom Kubulwane. So Nom Kubulwane started creation of the plants and animals here on earth. And finally, when all had come to rest, Nomkubulwane was well pleased. Filled with the joy of all living things, Nomkubulwane ate with him to bring humans into being. Oh. Are you enjoying this? Yeah. What did you learn about Unkulunyane? The God, God of Blank. <laughs> According to this museum, you guys, Unkulunyane was a spirit, but he created black people. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness!
you guys know that Africa can be divided into three areas of civilization? We have the Maghreb, we have the Sudanese, Sahel, and the Bantu civilization. I'm happy. The beauty in this place is uncomparable to any other place right here in Africa. I mean, this place is so representative of every African country. I mean, I am in awe. So if you never really understood about the Bantu migrations, the Bantu civilizations, if you never really understood about the three areas of civilization, then you really need to visit this place. It actually shows you which which parts are the Bantus, you know, which parts are the Hausas, you know, and stuff like that. This is really interesting. I never got to learn about Ethiopia until today. I never got to learn about the Nilo Sharans until today. I actually never know learn to know about Madagascar that it was to civilize it has Bantu civilizations, it has Malagasy civilizations. You know, I never got to learn about the Lundas, the Kazembes, I never got to learn about the Vendas, you know, I never got to learn about the Bugandas in Uganda, I never got to learn about the Rwandis, you know, I never got to learn about all these kinds of people, uh, I never got to learn about the Jolo Prize in the West, you guys, I am in awe, I am impressed, impression is the name. I mean, you guys definitely need to come here. You guys definitely need to, you know, be part of this thing. I mean, it's amazing. This is the apartheid hall. And in this hall, the story of South Africa colonial history was told. We saw uniforms that the African maids and servers wore during this time. And I got to learn some of the sad songs they sang during this era. As I continued the museum tour, you guys, I got to learn and understand that the people of South Africa went through much to attain the freedom that South Africa has today. Shosholoza, a song that was sung in the South African mines. Fun fact you guys, did you know that the Shosholoza song originates from Zimbabwe, formerly known as Rhodesia, where Zimbabwean to South Africa migrants sang this song and that's how it became so popular in South Africa and it is also considered as South Africa's second national anthem. I mean that's what makes me proud to be Zimbabwean and leave a comment and let me know which African country are you from and what makes you proudly African. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching another episode in the Africa to the World Movement, baby. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to unlock.